So I'm going to begin by telling you a story, okay? Uh, here's the story. Last year, my best friend got married. Uh, and so I was his best man. And yeah, it was, it was fun. He was my best man. Um, so he's kind of like returning to the family. It would have been really awful if it's like I made him my best man. And then like, you know, however many years later, it's like, yeah, sorry, man. I, that would be really dope. Anyway, so either out of guilt or because he really thought I was a good friend of his, he made me best man. Now, I, um, I don't really like spend a lot of money on clothing. You can probably tell that. But anyway, um, I've never um, like gone and got a suit tailored before. Okay, because it's super expensive and you get it probably made. But because I was the best man and we were both having like matching stuff, etc., um, got it tailored, right? So I, I go into the place, can't remember what it's called, um, and there's a lady there and she's like, okay, um, to make sure that this is gonna fit you, I have to take some measurements, okay? And it's a full, like it's, it's you know, everything really. Uh, there's, there was trousers, um, there was the shirt, the vest, a uh, special tie, and then the, Blazer. The actual blazer suit part, right? Okay. So all these different bits. I don't know because I was the best man, not the, so I didn't have to pay for it. I assume it was just rental, so it shouldn't have been that much. But anyway. So so I go there and um, she's like, okay. Um, she gets her what's it called, like a tape measure, tape, measuring tape thing, right? She gets it out, and um, she says, okay, just stand still, right? And I'm like, okay, no problem. So she she puts it around my neck and she like. Writes down a number, and then she's like, "Okay, hold out your hand." So I hold up my hand, and she like takes down a number, and then she she puts it against like from my ankle to like my hip or something, and she takes a number, and she does one or two other things, but it's super fast, and she's like, "Okay, I'm done," and I'm like, "Wait, hold on! Like that only took like 30 seconds. You only got I uh, looked at a piece of paper. It's like four numbers written on it, and I'm like." Surely you cannot boil me down to just four numbers. Like, don't you, like, there's all these different things that you need, all these things that need to fit. There's all kinds of measurements, like my arm length and my waist and my on and on and on that she didn't take, right? And I said, don't you kind of need more information that you've written down? And she's like, no, I've got it all, right? And I'm like, really? So disbelieving, she said, don't worry, I'll be right back. So she sat down, I sat down. She went away to, like, the back room or something like that. And then came out with all of the pieces of clothing, right? And I was honestly a bit skeptical. Okay, I, I'm, I'm super thin, so most things don't fit me nicely, like, because I'm the wrong proportions and all that. Um, but she brought it back and she's like, okay, try this on. So I'm like, well, you know, I better give it a go. So I went, changed, and to my shock and surprise, every single item fit perfectly. Down to like, even when um, when I was at school, <laughs> this just tells you what Asians are like, um, all of my clothes were too large, because you know, you buy them like so they last you for a long time, right? So I couldn't, to read my watch, right? My, my sleeves are too long, so I'd have to do this maneuver to try and get my hand out. I'd be like, ugh, and then like, oh, I've got my watch there, right? And I was like, oh, this is really cool. I had this tailored thing on, and I was like, ooh, I could see my watch. And I was so impressed, and it fit nice and comfortably, and the length was all sweet. And I was like, wow, okay. Fine, I take back, you know, I was wrong. Just like four or five numbers, and it's all you need to know. Okay, now, question for you, how does that work? How can so few numbers help you, or a tailor, to completely outfit a person and nothing else? How does that work? Hmm, let's just take an example, arm length, okay? I think she did take my arm length, okay? Um, but she didn't take like like this length here, um, and she didn't take my like she didn't take this length. That's just halfway. Um, she didn't take you know this this um, width around here, but it still fit perfectly. How did it all work? How did it fit together? Well, I take it. I just give you a simple example. If you know how long my whole arm is, right? It's like well, you know, this part of my arm from my elbow to my wrist it's pretty much going to be half that length, right? Maybe slightly off, but pretty much, right? Uh, in terms of like the, the diameter, uh, circumference, sorry, of my wrist, it's also pretty closely connected. All of the numbers sort of fit together. If you know these few numbers, you can define the whole person and the whole body, right? Trigonometry is the same idea, but it's not for people. It's for, um, it's for trigons. <laughs> What's a trigon? You guys actually know what a trigon is. There's a more familiar word that you guys know, um, which is a polygon. What's a polygon? What does poly mean? Does anyone know? Like, um, like poly, poly unsaturated fats or pol polymers. Uh, poly means many. 
Holly means many. Not double L, single L. Um, and, and gon means angle. So this means any shape with lots of angles in it, right? Polygons. So therefore, a trigon is something with three angles, right? Which we more, we call them triangles, don't we? Okay. Um, and metry, that comes from, that's the same word for like meter and metric. It's about measurement, okay? So just like the tailor, right, was measuring me, we're going to be doing a lot of measurement of triangles. That's what this is. Uh, tri that's what this topic really means. It's just that triangle measurement is kind of a mouthful. So they kind of boil it down a little bit. Okay? So the idea is that you can know very, very few things about a triangle. Maybe an angle, maybe a couple sides. You don't have to know everything. And you can work out everything else from there. Right? Just like you can work out height and neck circumference, blah, 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 blah. Okay?